a, a shortage of organs for kidney transplant and dialysis is ineffective as well in the long run. So there's been a push in the research community to try to find a way to regenerate kidney tissues from induced pluripotent stem cells. What we propose to do is to use the lymph node as an in vivo bioreactor to test the true potential for these cells to differentiate in, into structural and functional tissues that actually produce urine. Our group has found the lymph node is a very unique bioreactor unlike other tissues within the body. Many people have tried, including us, to find places to have kidney tissues in graft, including under kidney capsule, which seems not to work very well. But then we looked at what nature told us. Well, nature tells us that cancer cells typically spread through the body via the lymphatic system, finding that the lymph node is a great bioreactor in order to have these cancer cells grow. Similarly, with different inflammatory states, invading white cells often invade lymph nodes, and that causes the lymph nodes to expand and, and it has a great capacity to allow these tissues to grow. Our collaborator has shown that liver cells, pancreatic cells, and kidney cells Similarly, these progenitor cells can engraft and differentiate into structures within the lymph node. There are several goals of our research. One of them is to provide the scientific community with an, a novel in vivo platform to test the ability of their cells, their favorite stem cells, to become functional kidney cells. The second larger goal is to simplify this technology so that instead of having them send their cells to us, they can use this technology in their own laboratories. Of course, the long-range goal is to really provide a means to replace transplantation and dialysis and cure kidney disease, either by having the lymph node act as the site where you transplant and grow the tissues to then replace kidney function, or to understand how the lymph node acts as a great environment for this and to find another place in the body, reproduce that environment, and have tissues grow and become a kidney. Our team, which includes Dr. Legasse from the McGowan Institute, is really at the forefront of exploiting this technology. Dr. Legasse was the first to show that the lymph node has the capacity to allow engraftment of liver cells, pancreatic cells, and now kidney cells. The first time that kidney progenitor cells were able to reform and make urine within the entrapped lymph node. Other groups have since then gone on to show that the omentum which has lymphoid tissues called milky spots, also have this engraftment potential. But we are really at the forefront of driving this technology of using the lymph node as a bioreactor to reorganize kidney tissues. Right now, there are close to half a million people in the United States that suffer from end-stage kidney disease, and we have no cures. Lifespans are severely shortened in adults, and particularly in children that can lose up to 50 years of their life if they're on dialysis. We've had no significant advances in terms of curing kidney disease over the last few decades. This provides a rare and unique opportunity whereby you could take your own tissues, grow them into tissues that would replace kidney function, and truly cure end-stage kidney disease.